right, welcome back to the journey. Thank you for being a part of the journey and don't forget to share the journey. So, we're doing it again. We're going for another ride with the white trailer behind us, the new livestock trailer that we use to pick up the emus. We are headed to Yoder, Colorado, and we are picking up, or not pick, well, we're picking up, but we're purchasing three peacocks. The guy's not sure. He thinks they're all males, but he's not 100% sure, so who knows, there might be a girl in. If not, it's still nice to have the three male peacocks to strut around and do their thing, and it's something new for the homestead, something new for the upcoming petting zoo, and uh, I'm excited, so I can't wait to see them. Didn't see pictures, I just, uh, he said if I buy all three, he'll do $100 a piece which is a really, really good deal for uh, full-size peacocks. Uh, it's something like $275 or $285, something like that, uh, normally. So that's a smoking hot deal. I mean, even a baby is like $100 or something like that. So I'll get some video uh, once I get them in the trailer. And of course, I'll film when I release them at the ranch later this afternoon. Hopefully I get home before it gets dark. So I'll talk to you guys later. Stay tuned. All right. Max was a little concerned with the peacocks. And it's a good thing he was concerned about the peacocks. Because we just got home from town. Me, Mickey Mouse, uh, Chubbs, and Mia. Max and Minnie stayed here. They were out of water. So I just filled their water up. They look like they're doing good. As soon as the dogs get out, I'm sure they'll come get some water. Got Mia Mouse in here now. We got Mimi the Gold in here. And of course, this is the T-Post I picked up on the way home. Uh, since two Home Depots didn't have them, I found one that had them. So, looks like they're doing good. I'm going to let them stay in the trailer one more night. They stayed in last night. We got home at 9.05. I want to have them stay one more night uh, just because they fly. And I want them to realize this is home. There's food. There's water. And tomorrow morning, I'll do the release. And uh, when all the birds are here ready to eat, I'll go ahead and let them out. I'm not going to get them any more food than that. I'm going to let them... Uh, I'm actually going to probably pull that f rest of that food. And uh, they'll be hungry in the morning. And go ahead and be able to come out and eat with all the other birds. Uh, like the emus did this morning for the first time. So I'm going to get the dogs out. I'm going to let them spend the rest of their day and evening in here. And we'll do the release in the morning. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the morning. 